I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. This is Coogan Cassius for Eiffel TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're in Dubai here outside the Coca-Cola Arena. Probably the maddest matchup of uh, the last, I don't know how many years. Deji versus Floyd Mayweather. Do you keep saying that to yourself? Unreal. I just remember the first time after the Wasabi fight, how we had our little conversation. The private conversation? Yeah. And the personal private conversation? Yeah. And, and now look at us. It's, it's yeah, to be honest with you, that wasn't actually too long ago, but... Um, since then, I suppose in terms of yourself as well, because things have changed for you as well uh, with your experience in the ring. I mean, you're one of the people, like, honestly, I can say thank you to because you, you told me to carry on. I was ready to just hang up the gloves, but you said, carry on, like, there's something there, so carry it on. And I, that's exactly, literally exactly what I did. And look at me now, I'm, I'm fighting Floyd, it's weird. Well, when this was first put to you, Deji, about the prospect of you fighting Floyd Mayweather, what what was your initial kind of response to that? Did you think that it was a reality? Did you think it was just an idea that's been taunted? What was going on through your head when that name was first mentioned as a potential opponent for you to fight uh, this week? This week? or No, just in general. Obviously, the fight's happening mm. this week. I've worded that a little bit wrong. I just okay. meant the first time it was yeah. mentioned to you. I mean, uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a weird one for me. Um, I can't really put it into words. It was the first press conference that really made me realise, okay, it's actually happening. And then, and then I kind of got myself into gear. I was already into gear, but I got myself into like, let's say I'm in gear five, I put myself in gear six. And right now I'm in gear seven, so yeah. We know obviously your brother will be here this week. What has he said to you? I'm curious to know what JJ has said to you going into this week and in general, like just that brotherly advice. I don't mean from kind of, boxing experience, I just mean as your brother, what's he said to you about going into this fight with Floyd? He said you've already won, like you have, you literally have nothing to lose, you've, you've won the fight already, just go out there and just enjoy yourself, make the most of it. What do you believe truly can happen on Sunday night in your head? What, what do you, when you go to bed of a night, what, what, how do you play it out in your head? I've had um, a lot of visual, a visualisation in my head, same with like my last fight, I had a lot of visualisation. I'm just, I'm just gonna have fun. I'm gonna just showcase my skills and just have the most amount of fun possible. Last one. We know you, you've literally you're fighting the most difficult person of our generation you could ever fight. But there is a certain Mr. Jake Paul that's going to be here at some point this week. You have made comments regarding that. We know your history, etc. Can you make comment on Jake Paul? It seems like everyone's going for Jake Paul here as well, uh, so to speak. I mean, Jake Paul. He, he's he's shown skills like like no other. You can't say that he's he's a fluke or anything like he's insane. But obviously, I'm working up to the rematch. I, I obviously, I need to get more fights under my belt before I can get the rematch. I need to showcase my skills. Hopefully, I can do that with uh, this Floyd fight. But yeah, you know, I, I do want that rematch 100%. Okay, but you've got bigger problems this Sunday night here in Dubai at the Coca Cola Arena. Last one: Can Deji shock Floyd Mayweather? Come on. Yes, 100%. I'll let you crack on and we will catch up in the week. Best of luck, hey, mate. Guys, Top man. Thank you. Now, I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session.